welcome back to 21 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is African Dance in Ghana, Contemporary Transformations. As a part of the Read 21 and 21 Challenge, I'm reading 21 minutes per day every day as an action of love, as an investment into myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. Hoping that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and dropping some comments down in that comment section so that we can have an actual dialogue. Book club? Having in mind that while I do have several decades of experience as an educator, researcher, and dancer, I'm not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply creating a space for dialogue. And I feel like I'm going to need your help because I, I, I need help with pronouncing some of the names. Um, yeah, I, I, I could use some support and some assistance with pronouncing some of the names. So that's a perfect space for you to drop some comments down there. Like, help me out. Help me help us, right? Well, this week, because I read the introduction, the acknowledgement about the author, the foreword, I only got to page number 10, but I did read all of those other pages too. And here are my takeaways. Let me open up my book to my notes. Francis Ni Yarti is the author of this book and is described as being a distinguished scholar, an artist, and a writer. He was actually one of the first students to be trained by Albert Mawari Opoku and ends up taking on the art, the role, excuse me, of artistic director at the Ghana Dance Ensemble. And it's believed that when he took on that role, both Opoku and Kwabana Nakitia felt like it's time. We've trained him well, let him come in and do this thing. And that was a bit of a full circle moment for me in my reading because we these names have come up before. So here's an example of um, wonderful peeping, people being around wonderful people, but also this idea of sitting at the feet of your elders, being quiet and respectfully sitting at the feet of your elders so that you can get the information necessary for you to take on, to move forward for that progression, for all the things that we need to be successful. Takeaway number two is happiness. There's this wonderful quote in the writing from President Nkrumah, having in mind that um, when this speech is given, it is early in Ghana's independence, and uh, the idea is to build nationism, to look at Ghana as a nation and to move forward, right? So, this definition of happiness encourages nationalism, like I just said, at, via celebration of past victories and pushing through local differences. So there are a lot of ethnic groups in Ghana. There's actually a wonderful map in this section that shows the different ethnic groups that make up Ghana. And President Nkrumah is saying, we, we need to push forward by thinking of the Ghana nation and working collectively. So there's a quote that is not from President Nkrumah, but from Nikitia. And that this quote is a national theater movement sustained and guided by our values and propelled by our new direction of creativity would be a dynamic asset for the promotion of this fundamental happiness. So the happiness that Nkrumah was speaking of in contemporary context, if we if it excuse me, if it was inclusive, transformative and multi ethnic in its orientation and also create space for both contextualization and creative innovations. So one of the things that you learn in reading the book or are reminded of in reading the book is how close uh, President Nkrumah and Nikitia worked and understood each other's ideas for what Ghana could be. Takeaway number three, I'm gonna take our time with this one. Many names are given in the, the acknowledgement section of the book. And I would like to take this time to mention one of those names, Mama K. Mama K is takeaway number three. Mama Dr. Kariyama Welsh has a legacy that has touched the hearts, the souls, and the bodies of many. 
she even edited one of our previous books, which was Hot Feet and Social Change. While our hearts might be heavy right now with the recent transition of Mama Dr. K, this book, her books, and her history lives on in the bodies of her students and is an acknowledgement of the beautiful gift that she was to this world. Please remember to sit quietly and respectfully at the feet of your elders so that you can gain the knowledge that we need to move forward. Also, remember to tell your loved ones that you love them and share the truth. Like how I'm mispronouncing some of these names, you could drop that in the comments down there. In the meantime, share a good word, stay blessed, and I'll see you again soon.